Things are getting messy. Oh my god. Oh ah, no! What is it? It's I'm only so up. nervous. I'm so nervous. Ah. Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are the boys for hard analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another episode, another reaction of The Fall of the House of Usher. And today we are going to be covering episode two. Now, last time we left off with this weird ass jester in the fucking limousine. Mm -hmm. They're looking kind of crazy. And now uh, the dad, the, the the leader of the household is bleeding. I'm only guessing that that happened. And then afterwards he calls the lawyer over and they have oh, the discussion. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking the sequence of events is happening. Yep. But so far we're thinking everyone is iconic in the show. Everyone is delivering. And I'm only guessing that it's gonna get more and more crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you watch through my whole diatribe at the end of the last episode, you know I am living for this series. So I don't wanna wait another second to get into this episode. And also so many hotties. So listen, I'm not gonna be sorry for the thirsting that I'm about to happen, that's mm -hmm. gonna happen. We don't apologize for thirst I'm gonna, on this I'm channel. gonna be me. <laughs> All right, now before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video and if you want to support the channel even more you can go over to our patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon or you can join our youtube membership by clicking the join button below and finally don't forget to join our discord where you can talk to us about this show and anything else that's on your mind the link is going to be in the description below but without further ado let's get into it da -dum. the fall of the house <laughs> <laughs> Did my morning rounds and there it was. You know, I read a story once about a guy who diddled dead bodies. Uh, oh. ne necrophilia? Necrophilia. What? Not the fucking diddling dead bodies. They dug up dead bodies. That's why their fingers were were, were um messed up. They were digging, they're grave diggers. Don't make me confiscate that camera. You can't, unless I'm being charged with the crime. Don't push me, Mr. Dupin. I told you before, this is serious. That's a guy. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Aw, look at him, always hard at work. She got a call from the cemetery that her mother's grave was disturbed. You see, here's where you fucked up. So I went down. Because there. you're a fucking idiot. Because there have been five. <sighs> he didn't listen. He was just like, you're a fucking idiot. This world needs changing. Say you win. If you could catch them all, if you could take all of it, all the. Gotta catch them? No, uh... I knew you were gonna do it. Damn it. Kids with sports injuries, their docs prescribe them ligadone, pitch it like extra strength Tylenol. Th what, what is that? I don't think it's a real medication. Oh. Oh. We are here to talk about... Don't turn around. Don't fucking turn around. Oh, 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 oh my God. I don't know what sounds came out of my body, but like that was fucking horrifying. Because it really doesn't matter now. Anyway, it doesn't, doesn't matter at all. Not since I killed him. Wait, who, who'd he go? What? The first thing you have to understand about my son is that he was, if nothing else, crazy. Oh, 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 just swim, swimming in bodies. Is that a butt plug? It looks like Did it. I just see a butt plug? All right. I just want to make sure. There oh. were gulls eggs, black-headed gulls eggs, forged from Key Haven marshes. They're only in sea. This is the same way I would react if someone took my eggs. I love eggs. I too Especially love in eggs. the morning. Oh, Jesus. Can't be going there. Go! Oh. Here they are. This is too much. This is published. Every one of my fucking siblings got it. It's like a given. Like a fucking right. But you have to pitch them on it. Why do people drink raw eggs? That I was about to say, like... have you ever drank raw eggs? I haven't. And I also, I think it's a, it's a texture thing for me. Because if I were to drink it, I'd be like, Ugh! I just don't know, like, what does it taste like? Huh, who's Dickwad? This is my brother, Frederick. Oh. That? <laughs> That's a nipple. 
return my calls until your company was indicted. Sorry, I'm late. I got <clears throat> hit by a truck. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. Was that suit looks like it's like doused in blood. Mm. Kind of cool, actually. Or worse, leaking toxins into the groundwater. Holy shit, we own all of these? Are you acknowledging ownership? Of course he isn't. Oh, shit. No wonder they're like, all right, kill him off. Kill him off immediately. Actually, some of these are a fucking gold mine. If this one is ours, I want to see it. It's perfect for this idea I <laughs> Can, had. This is not the time to be fucking nope. like, oh, let me pick this one for myself. All right, I'm a little annoyed with him too. And we are aligned with you in our mutual goal of compliance with any and all of the regulatory guidelines. Kind of sounds like Mark Hamill just like, you'll talk for me. I know it's you, you little fuck. No wonder you're so comfy talking around the feds, getting a lot of practice after hours. I know. Do you really think it's him though? No. I don't have enough evidence to really confirm. Years ago, and he fucked her so hard that the estate cracked into six pieces instead of five. Fucking bastard. Okay, that is harsh. Everyone here is going for that Emmy. And the list is fucking exclusive. It's a pop-up club. The pop-up club. You get additional. Uh, honestly? Right? You don't click the link in five minutes? Kind of a good idea. Use it as a club. People will die though, but. Party. I mean, this just looks like it has a bunch of historical contamination that needs to be dealt with. No, it's not a fucking prom. Sex and drugs are the theme. The orgy starts at midnight. I like a little theme here and there. Underwear party. <gasps> what? what? Who's what? up there? <gasps> oh my God! Hello. How'd you get up there, girl? Drunk. I hate that. Mike Malikin likes to just add little like scary shit in the corners. Listen to me, don't just, don't, can Oh no. You could have done something more to stop her. Threshold, if my 200 million is coming up snake eyes, you'll tell me, right? Oh yeah, of course. Look at me. I need this to work. Why, why is that? Why is that? I think like he literally needs it to work. Oh, okay, okay. That's why you're here. I, I need to connect to these things faster. What about Viagra? Mm. Yeah, I've got a stash out there. You do? No, I don't. Because I'm a stallion in my fucking prime. And why the fuck? Hey, you know, if you want to like take a moment to just in detail tell us. All right, this is beneath you and you're going to kill it. But you're better than all of this. Oh, thank you so much. I needed that pick me up. I know he's talking directly to me. Mm -hmm. You do have Viagra? Of course I have Viagra. <laughs> I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Witness Stan, the drug rep. See if you can find something. And if you can't find something, we may have to just find something. What does she do? Like, I want to say she's like the communications director or something. Okay, okay. Poke at that. Talk to lab techs, bribe, threaten, mix and match. Man, what did she do to you? I'm sorry, what was that? I just love the dialogue that they've, they're they giving her. Just like fucking fears. Like, do whatever you got to do, girl. I mean, I do love the girl boss. Right? It's like giving young Miranda Priestly. Yes. <gasps> so you tap on the mask and it takes you to the payment page. We're working oh. on getting Apple Pay up before tomorrow night. Working on your guest list, too. That it's moldy water. Like, it's like, it's like. That feels like foreshadowing. I don't know what that means. Oh, my God. I can't wait till I get to just watch all all the videos and then do like a deep dive mm -hmm. of every reference that we may have missed what about the sprinklers those are dry bullshit they're dripping on my phone they might sweat a little they're old enough but there's no pressure how are they sweating if they're dry if we turn it on a little bit you know it'll eventually get moist <laughs> you guys saw those tanks on the roof when we walked in yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely because the water is definitely still good. Yeah, there. why would you still use the water? Please tell me that you're going to test the water first. No. Oh, I don't, God. I don't think that this guy is thinking that Oh, far God. Ahead. Or, I think, late 60s, kitschy as hell. And the cover. <gasps> oh, he's coming. He's coming up next to us. Whoever has the gold makes the... He just got Freddy Kruegerized. Uh-huh. 
Don't tell me the sprinklers are full of, like some acid or some shit. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Cerebral autosomal dominant arteriopathy with subcortical infarcts and leukoencephalopathy. I did he say English words? Yes, he did. Okay, because I literally just like, could not process. He's a glorified fucking gardener. I just need him to dig. Mr. Griswold is ready for you. I'd be like, I'm good. I'm actually, I gotta go get a drink. When was the last time you had a headache? Fuck me. Is this is a pitch? Suze, you said it was fucking accounting. You're really asking him on a really bad day. A, a serious injury, cancer, trauma, sure, but also for chronic, mild, even temporary pain. Well, it kind of sounds like right now in the current day that this is a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Daily pain. Every minute. And I saw all of it. And I knew it did not have to be that way. Okay, so he's doing this for his mom. I can respect that. Well. <laughs> well, we got someone else coming into the picture. I feel like we don't see the moms of everyone. Because a lot of the moms were different. I know, but where are they? Are they just like paid off to be like silent? It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea. Reinforcements. Oh my God, brand new box? With no other thought but to love and be loved by me. Vomit. <sighs> I quit. She hates it. She hates him so much. Your medicine, Madeline, with your algorithms. Yeah, algorithms aren't high tech. They've been around since antiquity. An algorithm is just a finite sequence. And she's just trying to be nice, girl. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta come for her. Fuck that tiny little man in his big office with his tiny little ideas. We oh. are going to change. That's not what I thought what she was gonna say. Me neither. They are a little uncomfortably close to me. Yeah. Do you sense that? I do. Okay. Thinks like you, talks like you, is you. That's so cool. It is cool. I guess. She's talking about the metaverse. I think she might be. All right. And shove it up the nose and Ugh. pick out the brains bit by Ooh. bit before mummification. Uh -huh. What? I mean, the person was already dead. But Why, yes. though? So that they could mummify you without breaking the open your skull. ultimate COVID test. <laughs> we'll find them. Surprise! That's oh, a fuck. Oh. Was she like on it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Grandma? <laughs> no, no, Jesus, no, never, never again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she hates it. She hates it. She's uh Juno. That's her name. Mm -hmm. Just say Juno, girl. Get them to whip us up some pizzas. I'll be right back. And you, Bond. I love that. Pizza, games, I'm down. I'll call you Grandma. He was the one that invented them. And I said that I was just so grateful I could just blow him and... Oh! Ah! No! No! The rain's gonna fall and we're all gonna dance and fuck and feel more alive in five minutes than Freddie ever will. You should come. Oh. She is your aunt. <laughs> well, she's like, well, you know, I don't know, maybe. Picture the perfect cock in your hands, in your mouth, the perfect pussy, okay. if that's your speed, or both. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna stop. YouTube is literally gonna be like, get the fuck out of here. I'm your brother's wife. Yeah. And that's pretty fucking hot. I knew he was gonna be. This whole family's fucked up. Wait for a text or, I don't know, throw it away. It's up to you. Things are getting messy. Messy, messy, messy. I don't know. Hi, come on in. I'm sorry about the schedule shenanigans. I'm glad we can make this work. It's fine, not a problem. Oh, is this the girl? I think They're so. They're hosting, hosting a girl? Okay. An intimate dinner, like a, a good date, an anniversary date, maybe that kind of vibe. Oh, they're like super role playing. Uh huh. Where she just watches him. Is it? Is this what cuckolding is? I think so. Like she's so. into cuckolding. In three, two, one. 
Oh god. <laughs> Not into this immediately. Oh, what? Why oh do you keep god. watching him? I think she's into him. I think she's into him. Full new nightshade agent. Yawn. And we're thinking maybe there's an angle to play on the biological waste disposal. They have three pickups. What is happening here? She's up to something. Oh, she's got the dish on everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Everyone is just so like sexual. <laughs> Everyone's very free spirited. Mm -hmm. Well, the oven mitts come off and the nail polish goes on. Have fun with the ships. You can trim Good. these. Oh, a girl just wants her night out. She uh -huh. just wanna, she wants to flow her hair. Please make sure that you're wearing your bracelet. Your bracelet is your key. Please ensure that you have your bracelet. Girl, I'm, I'm scared for you. Could you tell me who I'm talking to? This is definitely a club where you just pop some ecstasy and just go. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Yeah. He didn't even. He's surprised that she mm -hmm. even came. Hey, look for people with the red glow sticks around their necks. They got the good shit. X, Molly, okay. top shelf stuff. Well, they still can't have like running water, right? I'll find you later. Oh god, I thought they were gonna about, like make out right now. That's so weird. <laughs> ah! It's all being fucking taped. Oh man. Oh no. If I put this footage after the rain starts, it's worth a whole lot fucking I, more. Oh. I'm about to own Dick Wad. Oh my god. Oh come on. I mean, also, I mean, she's just there for having a drink. Oh. Now. This girl came to slay. What are we gonna do? And this is like in the actual story, The Mask of the Red Death. Oh, really? Somebody shows up dressed as the Red Death. Oh. She's like, I see you, girl. I see you. Who are you? I thought you'd never catch up. It's Vera. It's Vera, right? That's her name? Right? I thought it was Verna. Verna, Verna, sorry, sorry. The music, the lights, the beautiful flesh. So pretty. The way that she said the beautiful flesh. Uh huh. All things, in fact, have consequences. Not this. I mean, that that's the whole point. You didn't read the invite? She didn't need no invite. She's telling you what's what. Of a harmless choice made by someone in a moment where you didn't even exist. And that choice defined your whole... Aren't you kind of worried that she knows so much information here? Yeah. You need to get out. I almost wanted to, like, flash to the camera to this room, and it's just him sitting on the bed alone. Oh, yeah. This also could be his color, which is the red. Mm -hmm. But also the way that she said, and tonight, you are consequential. Have all the fun you want. <laughs> I've always liked the bad boys. And red was the final color where the main character named Prospero died <gasps> in the Mask of the Red Death. How is he going to die? I, for some reason, thought this was like a version of the Little Drummer Boy. <laughs> pa -rum -pum -pum -pum. <gasps> What is happening? What is she? Is she like possessing them? Penetrate you, Uncle. Now. Oh, is she saving some people? I think so. Oh. Girl, Girl you were supposed leave. to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's only so nervous. I'm so nervous. Ah! Oh, it's, it's, it's acid, I think. It's acid. Oh, my God. Guys, run. Oh, they're trapped there. They're fucking trapped. Oh, this is grotesque. Mike Flanagan, you are going for it. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. 
this is fucking insane. Oh, he's pretty much Vecna now. Yeah. That's a scary ass mask. She did say there was going to be consequences. Beautiful boy. It's like the kiss of death. Uh-huh. Oh, this is awful. Yeah, and I still hear the sizzling of some skin. Oh! Oh! oh the you fall of the house of like Usher! That? The fall of the house of Usher! <laughs> They're just giving some skin! Some skin, some gruesome oh skin. It's ooey gooey. It's literally down to the bone. Finger licking good. Oh. <laughs> All right, so that was our reaction to the second episode of The Fall of the House of Usher. And boy, did we witness the start of the fall of the House of Usher. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a way to fucking end that episode. I've never seen, I mean, The Haunting of Hill House was pretty grotesque and we haven't seen any of his other series like the Bly Manor and Midnight Mass, mm -hmm. but that was fucking gruesome. Yeah. That was a fucking gruesome scene that I could expect in Saw. Uh, I can expect like in Terrifier. Mm -hmm. Like that was up there. That's pretty fucking good as a person who loves gore, as a person who doesn't love gore. How did you feel about that? It was uh, honestly, I'm, I'm like still reeling from that last scene. It was very disturbing. Oh because yeah. Because it was more than just like the the acid and the skin melting off. Like mm. you heard the like labored breaths and oh, the moans yes. and the sizzling and ooh, it's like it's, And no one got out, right? Because they were all stuck in there. Except for the people who Well the girl she didn't let leave. Uh, the, uh, the 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 wife didn't leave. We think she We didn't, didn't leave. see her leave. Um but she could or could not be in there still. Uh, but we'll see what the repercussions are after this, right? Yeah. But the thing is, like, this is supposed to be secluded. So right now, probably nobody knows where they are. Yeah, well, and to tie this back to the Mask of the Red Death. Do because it. Because all of these are, Which like, is an Edgar Allan Poe. It's an Edgar Allan Poe short story. Cool. So in the Mask of the Red Death, uh, essentially, this guy named Prospero, he is afraid of the Red Death, which is this disease going around and killing a whole bunch of people okay it's not based on any specific real disease okay and so he has this castle and he invites all of his rich friends there and they're okay. all basically just going to throw a party while everyone else dies wow this is actually because, pretty similar because he's afraid of dying and oh. so they go through this party and each room is a different color and it's this whole thing but then out of nowhere, this person dressed as a peasant with red death shows up and no one knows how they got in, but like everyone just kind of lets them go through the crowd and Prospero runs after them. And then when he goes to take the mask off, there's nothing in there. And then he keels over and dies and everyone at the party dies from the red death. Oh my God. And it's like a story about how death is inescapable basically. But that is very like this was a really interesting modern take on that, right? Isn't that crazy? How yeah. they can just like intertwine that here? I mean, that is freaking awesome that it, it sounds like it and they can piece it together and make it even like bring it to life in this kind of way. And I also feel bad for Prospero, um, yeah. especially like in both iterations of it, but in this one, because he was considered the bastard son of the family and it seemed like everybody was shitting on him yeah they were like they didn't respect him at all and he's like the first one to get god um i but, mean let's be real this party was was bad news for everyone oh involved. yeah yeah. he did because not have good gonna, intentions he was gonna blackmail everyone yeah, he did he not have good intentions he didn't think far enough ahead to think that there would be consequences for trying to blackmail all these powerful people that were in the yeah. room but now there's a few powerful people who are not dead. Yep. And so, I mean, Verna, I just, that sh her character, it's so fucking interesting to me. I want to fucking know what is up with her. I need to know like her story and I can't wait for episode three. But guys, thank you so much for joining us for this episode reaction. Make sure to comment down below what you thought about this episode, um, especially as to like what we can show you on YouTube. Uh, so, <laughs> but make sure you watch the whole unedited scene um on netflix but until next time we have been your source for horror analysis criticism and spooky okay and sometimes kooky entertainment bye
Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.